All right, you guys, we are back. What you're looking at is the prototype of the Bose-Einstein Fog Chiller 2.0. One difference on this unit, though, we're, uh, we're going to make it both ways where you can have the grate on the front and a little bit less of an aggressive fan or else you choose this model which is more of a hazer and it's got that aggressive fan on the front we even made it you know one of those one that lights up all fancy too for you light your fog up for you make you feel special make your day yeah anyways all the changes we made on here there was a whole bunch of tweak and we we tweaked the input so that the fog comes in a little bit better has a little bit more time to uh do what it does start circulating through this unit um the insides we made it completely tear out actually this entire unit takes one minute to tear apart so that you can drain it out clean it out do any kind of repairs or replacements that you need you see we got the wire harness on here we'll get all that hidden up when we get to the final stage here so uh the input and the output holes have been raised up from the previous model. Gave us a little bit more water capacity. And yeah, sometimes that water at the bottom is actually really, really good. It does serve a purpose. Depends on your design, I guess. Um, but if you do do something stupid, this whole unit is pretty much geared up so that you're not going to damage anything important. Like your fan, it's, you know, it's all wired in there in a pretty good manner. Shouldn't take on any so, water. Uh, in bringing you this though, you guys, we kept coming into a problem. Temperature and controlling this unit. We want to be able to fill this thing up once before the show. You know, a half hour, an hour before your show. And walk away from it until the end of the show. We've done it. Introducing the DeGrasse Tyson hand controller. Temperature, you guys. Temperature. We know what temperature is going on inside this thing now from our fancy DeGrasse Tyson hand controller here. There's our fan motor too to go along with it because the two go hand in hand. You want to cycle this thing to get the maximum efficiency out of it. Sometimes you're going to want to let do cool downs where you let the core temperature of this thing get back down there because if you're drawing hot air through it for an hour, it's probably going to start warming up. It also has the complete opposite effect, though, when you're doing uh, the chemical mixture or just when you throw ice in there for the first time. When you turn this thing on, you're actually going to drop the temperature of the ice about 5 degrees right off the bat. And in the instance of the chemicals, this thing turbocharges it like nobody's business, and we're not going to give that secret away quite yet. So to make a long story short, Again, it comes completely apart, easy. Again, we got our wire harness here. This has our fan motor wiring going through it. It has our probe wiring going through it. The probe is located in the core. And of course, the DeGrasse Tyson hand controller. Couldn't do it without it. To go wireless on all this stuff, you guys, it costs between 30 and 60 bucks more right away. So we did this one as a wired unit because unless you've got a wireless fog machine, you're still going to have your fog machine wires coming up to your control booth and whatever. So we figured out oh, what the heck, we'll do this one the old school way. You can just wind them all up together and make them all pretty. Get that tape going down so that fucking drunk guy or that fat lady doesn't trip on it. And away you go. 